Hello everyone, my name is Roya and I'm finally telling you guys all about my bookish pet peeves. So my number one bookish pet peeve, which I have never seen anybody else list as a pet peeve, so please tell me if this is a pet peeve of yours as well, but it is characters who are in bands just because it's cool when it adds nothing to the plot. Examples of this are Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, Life in Outer Space um, by Melissa Kyle, and The Hourglass Door by, I forget who it's by, but um, basically in all of those books, um, there are characters who are in bands for no reason. So if a book is actually about a band, like for example, If I Stay, um, or For the Record, um, those are actually about bands, so they're forgivable. Another thing that I'm sure a lot of people share with me as a pet peeve is the quote, I let out the breath I didn't realize I was holding. Because a lot of books, I swear to God, regardless of genre, a lot of books use that just all the time. Like, how many people just don't realize that they're holding their breath? Like, not that many, I don't think. I've never had that experience. And another quote that I see almost as often, kind of, is it was all I could do to blah de blah de blah or it was all I could do not to blah de blah So, like, it was all I could do to keep holding on to the window as I was falling or, like, it was all I could do not to scream or whatever it was. Like, like I see that all the time and it really, like, annoys me too. And obviously another pet peeve of mine is the you're not like other girls trope. So like basically whenever a story is kind of romance based and like a love interest will say like um, will tell the main character that she's not like other girls and that's like what makes her attractive. And okay, so here's the thing about it though. If we could actually see what makes her different from other girls, that would be forgivable, I think. That would be completely forgivable in my mind. Like, if we can actually see what the person thinks of other girls and why they don't think that about the protagonist, then that's fine. You know, it's totally okay to say she's different from other girls. But if we really don't see that and nothing in actually indicates anything, like, different from anybody else, like, why do that? Why, you know, why even say that? It so obviously I don't like insta romance either, that's a huge pet peeve of mine and I'm sure a lot of people share that too. But another thing that I also really don't like is when um, women are basically treated like walking vaginas in a book. Um, I think I heard uh, Melbourne on my mind say that about a book. She said something about with the women in, in a book, in a particular book, being treated like walking vaginas, and I completely understood what she meant. So I really liked that phrase, decided to like use it. So basically though, um, I, like one thing that really bothers me especially is when a really hot woman in a book is like assumed to be sleeping with everybody and that kind of I, I see that especially in crime novels I don't know why um but just sometimes like even if she totally is cheating on her dead husband like, still the fact that the police will assume without any evidence like no she's definitely screwing somebody i don't like that it really it bugs me so those are the pet peeves i have that i constantly find in books that i read um let me know what some of yours are down below and if you share any of mine please tell me because i want to know and um thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon with a new video bye